welcome back welcome back guys to my channel today i'm going to show you how to install windows 11 on a very old computer as you can see right here i have a old office computer i5 3570 with 8 gigs of ddr3 and a graphics card i think it is a, a rx uh, 560 and of course if you wanna uh, install windows 11 you are going to get this message that uh, your pc doesn't meet the system requirements but don't worry this is going to be a really easy task there are a few steps you have to complete in order to be able to uh, make this install happening first thing you have to download the windows 11 uh, image and you can do this from uh, microsoft uh, uh, website i'm going to put the link down in the, the description if you do not manage to get to uh, the specific website so we are going to uh, get the windows 11 multilingual uh, uh, version of course english international and after we are going to download uh, after the download is going to uh, get finished we are going to install another uh, piece of software it is called uh, rufus of course uh, you can google it uh, on uh, the internet you can download it uh, really really fast it is also free to use free to download free to everything i am also going to put a link uh, down in the description to the rufus uh, website uh, using this software you are going to be able to make your um, usb stick uh, bootable and you are going to be able to install the uh, windows 11 copy without any uh, problem okay so as you can see right here everything is straightforward just download the software you can get the last uh, rufus software i think you can use it without installing uh, on the computer but uh, i chose to install it anyway because i'm going to use it in other projects okay guys now the next step is very important choose your usb stick carefully choose the right capacity minimum 8 gigs and of course make sure it is usb 0.3 so it is going to be very fast on installing right now all you have to do is plug your usb stick in your usb port on your computer so we are ready to transfer the the files we are ready to put our windows 11 uh, image we downloaded uh, this image earlier select it right here and of course this is the key uh, extended windows 11 installation no tmp no secure boot and if you are going to choose this second option right here you are going to be able to install windows 11 on any type of uh, computer on partition scheme it is recommended to get informed about what type of uh, partition you have on your hard drive but in 99.9% .9 of the time you are going to have a uh, MBR partition and yes this is it guys you have to press start and uh, just uh, wait until uh, the transfer is going to be finished uh, your USB image uh, uh, stick is going to be ready in no time After the process of copying files is uh, finished, all you have to do is uh, restart your computer and uh, install Windows 11 just like any type of Windows you've installed uh, uh, previously from Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, the process is uh, really the same. There's nothing uh, weird, uh, nothing uh, changed uh, along this process. Just remember your USB stick name because you have to choose it as you see right here. Okay, the USB stick is bootable and the Windows installation is going to be really simple.
and this is it guys the installation is finished i just uh, downloaded the uh, chrome right there to be able to download the, the drivers i need the driver for the graphics card and you are going to need it also uh, this is the first uh, driver you are going to need to update because windows uh, 11 <laughs> is not going to install it uh, right away it is not so difficult you can do it on uh, the manufacturer uh, website amd or nvidia doesn't matter you are going to be able to download it really fast and uh, yeah you are going to be able to enjoy your uh, old computer with uh, windows 11 installed even though uh, microsoft did not uh, allow you to install uh, windows 11 through update Windows 11 is going to get activated automatically if you have your license in your Microsoft account and of course it is very recommended to install all the updates which are going to come through Windows Update. Okay guys, thank you for watching and have a nice day.